In this video, I'm going to create a pause function for a Unity project. The function will be written in C sharp and will take a key press or a joypad button press as input. I made a sample scene in Unity. It has spheres moving around and colliding with each other. So what I want is to be able to press a key or a button on a joypad to pause the action. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a C sharp script. I'm going to call it pause manager. I'm going to open that in Visual Studio. I'm going to create a Boolean variable called is paused. I set the value of that to false in the start method. Uh, then in update, I'm going to create an if statement. If get key up. So if the P key is pressed, then check to see if the game is already paused. So if is paused equals false. So if the game is not already paused, then set is paused to true. And all we want to do is set the time scale to zero. Uh, the time scale is the scale at which time passes in the game. So when time scale is set to zero, the game is essentially stopped or paused. So I'll save that. I've created a game manager game object. So within here, I'll add the pause manager script. I've just created. So if we go ahead and play, by pressing the P key, that pauses the game. So I'll go back into the script. What I want to do now is unpause or resume the game. So I'm going to write an else if statement, else if is paused true. So if the game is paused, set it is paused to false, then set the time scale back to the default setting, which is one. So that's paused and unpaused, paused and unpaused. Now I'll add the joypad pause functionality. To start, I'll go into project settings and input manager. I'm going to add another button and I'm going to call it pause. And for the positive button, I'm going to set this to joystick button 7, which is on an Xbox controller, the start button. So what this should do is, when the start button is pressed, this will be interpreted as joypad button 7 and pause the game. That's all you should need to add for that. So go back into the script. So input get key up P or get button, sorry, input, get button up, let's delete that, and here we'll type in pause. So now the start button on, a, on an Xbox controller should have the same effect as the P key on a keyboard. So save that.
So start by pressing start the game pauses. Pressing it again it resumes. So start. So what I want to do now is create a pop-up image that basically displays when the game is paused and goes away when the game isn't paused. Uh, so to do that I'll add a UI element, an image. Let's look at these canvas settings. Yeah, you shouldn't need to make any changes to that. So within the image itself I'm going to import into an images folder an image, basically it says paused, let's convert that to a sprite, apply that, so the image can just rename that to paused image So in the source image, I'm going to drag across the sprite that I just added, set native size, uh, perhaps reduce the scale of that, makes it a bit more sensible to have it a smaller scale. Let's make it centered. Yeah. Okay, so if we just run that, just to make sure that it's being displayed. Yeah, so obviously we don't want that all the time. So we want the default state to be inactive. That's fine. So the default state there is inactive, it's not being displayed. What I want to do is going back into the script. I'm going to put here uh, something like paused image set active equals true and then paused image set active equals false. So I'm going to create a public game object. I'll call it paused image. Save that. And then here, what I want to do is uh, paused image dot set active equals true, if the game is paused, and then paused image dot set active false, if the game isn't paused. Save that. Then in the game manager, pause manager script, we just want to drag across the image into this game object slot. Okay. So let's run that. Paused, not paused. Okay, so those are the steps that you can go through in order to create uh, a pause functionality and to display a paused image on screen. Thanks for watching.